Grade 5 Math, number 9.1, Finding Averages and Line Plots. Do you remember from last year? To find an average, we add all the numbers, then divide the total by the amount of numbers that were added. Yeah, we're going to do that. Do you remember line plots? We did those last year. You take a number line, and you put little X's on every amount that you're counting so that you can easily see which amount is more. Well, it rained for six days, and Emma measured the amount of daily rainfall and wrote the amounts in her journal. See the six days? And the different little inches, quarter inches, eighth inches of rainfall? So she put them on her line plot, and you can easily see that she's got two at one-eighth, three at one-fourth, and one at a half inch. And that was the rainfall for the six days. She counted them on the line plot and now needs to find the daily average. So we need to add all those fractions together to get a total sum. Then we need to divide that total sum by the number of things we added, the days of the rainfall. So once we add all these fractions up, we need to divide it by 6. Well, we can do that with the order of operations. We know she has 2 times 1 eighth and 3 times 1 fourth plus the half. So we put these in parentheses to do them first, then we'll add the half. They're inside brackets because we do this first, and then we're going to divide it by 6, okay? So 2 times 1 eighth is 2 eighths, 3 times 1 fourth is 3 fourths, and we need to add the half inch. When we add the 2 eighths and 3 fourths, we need to find a common denominator, so they meet at 8's house. 4 times 2 is 8. So 3 gets jealous, it wants to be multiplied by 2 also. So we end up with 2 eighths plus 6 eighths, which equals 8 eighths. That's 1. So now we have 1, and we still need to add this half and then divide the whole thing by 6. 1 plus a half is 1 and a half. In order to divide it by 6 easily, we're going to turn it back into a fraction. What we do is we multiply the whole number times the denominator and add the numerator. So 1 times 2 is 2, plus the 1 is 3. 1 and a half is 3 halves. 3 halves divided by 6 is the same thing as 3 is the numerator over 2 times 6 is the denominator. Do you remember that from our last unit? 3 over 2 6 becomes 3 over 12, and it can each be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. We end up with 1 fourth inch average rainfall. See, that wasn't that bad, was it? Let's try it again so you know for sure. Bob is sorting pieces of wood by length. He measures each piece of wood and puts it in piles by their length. So, pile 1 has half foot lengths, pile 2 has 1 fourth foot lengths, and pile 3 has 3 fourth foot lengths. So he tally marks them, that he's got 4 at a half foot, 2 at 1 fourth foot, and 2 at 3 fourths feet. So to find the average length for these pieces of wood, we use the order of operations. We've got 4 times a half, 2 times 1 fourth, and 2 times 3 fourths. And then we need to divide it by 8. So we're going to do inside the parentheses first for order of operations. Then we're going to add them all together. That's what's inside the brackets. And then we're going to divide it. See? So 4 times a half is the same thing as 4 times 1 over 2. So that gives us 4 over 2. 2 times 1 fourth is the same thing as 2 times 1 over 4, which gives us 2 fourths. And 2 times 3 fourths is the same thing as 2 times 3 over 4, which gives us 6 fourths. Now we need to simplify these. 4 over 2 is the same thing as 2, because 2 can go into 4 two times. 2 fourths. The numerator and denominator can be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and we get a half. 6 fourths, there's 1 4 fourths hiding in here, which leaves 1 and 2 fourths. We know 2 fourths is a half, so it's 1 and a half. Now we need to add these together, and we can use the associative property to do it. The half plus the 1 and a half makes 2. We have to add the 2, we get 4. Now we need to divide it by 8. 4 divided by 8. To divide 4 by 8, we just put 4 over 8. Then we need to simplify it. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Remember, if we've got 4 pieces of wood, 
and we want to divide it into eight pieces, then we would just cut them in half, wouldn't we? See? Half. That's why 4 divided by 8 is the same thing as 4 eighths. That was in our last uh, chapter, in chapter 8. So this isn't that hard. You could do this now on your own, right? Find averages and use line plots. I hope this helped. I hope you can understand and that I explained it clearly enough. I'll see you next video. Bye.